The state's major universities, along with government and agricultural leaders, were represented at the first Ag Tech Summit. It provided a unique opportunity for those in attendance to get an update on technological advances being made in Georgia's number one industry. We've never had one statewide meeting focused just on ag technology. So the idea today was to bring together industry, uh, academia, and government to have one day to discuss what's going on in the ag tech world and kind of to help plan for the future. That future is looking bright as new innovative research is being conducted every day in order to make improvements on a number of different sectors within the ag industry. The Precision Ag is the largest. Georgia's had a large uh, presence in Precision Ag over the years. The fastest growing area we see is controlled environment ag. So you think of the large greenhouse operations like Pure Flavor or Calera. Uh, food product innovation is kind of that third key area and that's really transforming our traditional commodities. So we grow a lot of different commodities in Georgia. And the fourth area we're talking about today is called food system technology integration. This is really around the large food processors, mainly poultry processors. While there is a common misconception that agriculture is behind the times when it comes to adopting new technology, farmers are more than happy to embrace change as long as it improves their bottom line. Historically, folks have thought farmers are slow to adopt new technology, but that's really not the case. Um, they have to be very bottom line oriented and if it doesn't provide increases in efficiency, increases in yield, it's gonna be a, a slow adoption cycle. But for new technology that offers the potential for increased efficiency, increased yield, it will be adopted. And that will soon become a necessity in order to keep up with the food demands for an ever-expanding population around the world. We are not gonna have enough food to feed the world's population in 2050. That's, that's it, bottom line. Um, so increases in efficiency and yield are absolutely necessary. Without that, uh, we're going to have some very difficult decisions to make. So there is a pressing need, just as there is with climate and, and other global issues, to increase the yield and the efficiency of agriculture. With the average age of farmers on the rise, adopting these technological advances becomes important as it could have an impact on the pool of students looking to get into the agricultural field. Sometimes technology and ag may be two different words, uh, two different worlds really, uh, but what we really see is that a lot of the technology that younger kids are, are uh, experienced with, so laptops, cell phones, uh, virtual reality devices, those have applications in agriculture and it's really about looking to that future workforce as well and trying to get more young people involved in agriculture by using the technology, technology that they're already familiar with. Reporting from Tift County, I'm Damon Jones for the Farm Monitor.